Hello, my name is Felipe Bain. I am a research fellow in Dr. Eva Feldman's lab. I joined the lab in 2011 and was and came here because I'm interested in the translational work that Dr. Feldman does. One of the the field that I'm into working in is diabetic peripheral neuropathy, and peripheral neuropathy is a consequence of obesity, prediabetes, and diabetes. Despite the fact that diabetic peripheral neuropathy is a very prevalent and highly morbid disease, there is currently no effective treatments. And one of the reasons for this uh, lack of treatments is that we don't fully understand the disease pathogenesis. In order to kind of get a better understanding of what is occurring, uh, my research looks at the use of animal models um, to try and figure out what is occurring. So typically our mouse models consist of mice that recapitulate di diabetes, obesity, or prediabetes. And what we do then is perform a neuropathy phenotyping to make sure they have a good, robust disease phenotype that matches closely to that seen in patients. With this, we then look at uh, what is occurring within the peripheral nerve of these animals. So looking at changes that occur in the diseased mouse, mouse but not in a healthy mouse. For example, one of the things we recently see is that there's altered levels of lipids in mice with peripheral neuropathy. And so what we're doing now is looking at interventional strategies to see if we can target these lipids and see whether or not it corrects the neuropathy phenotype. One example of this is that currently we are looking at mice fed a high fat diet which develop obesity and a pre-diabetic phenotype and along with this they, they develop a robust neuropathy. So one of the things that we're doing is switching mice back from a high-fat diet to a low-fat diet and what we've seen is that we can see a, we see complete reversal of the neuropathy. This is very uh, exciting news because this sort of therapy intervention strategy is very easily translatable to the clinic and one of our collaborators Dr. Brian Callahan is actually doing something similar to this in his patients. So so this provides us a very good example of how using mouse models going from the bench can bring it to the bedside and de deliver a, a, a therapy that can be quite effective.